You need this in your toolbox and this is why. What's up guys, thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I am Kurt and today we are doing a product review and that is of the Top Don Artie Diag 600S Diagnostic Tool. You need this. This is a must for any at-home mechanic or professional mechanic that has some quick jobs or some simple routine maintenance jobs that they're doing on vehicles. So we have a couple cars to work on, so we'll bring them in one at a time and take a look. All right, so we've got a Prius here and it has the TPMS sensor on, so I wanna go ahead and use the 600S to go ahead and look at it. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, with the 600S turned on and plugged into the Prius and we have the ignition on, we're gonna go into maintenance and select TPMS. And we're gonna to scroll to Toyota and asking to make sure the ignition is on, which it is. And we've already set our area as North America. So we're gonna go in, let it communicate. And we have a smart key, our car. So we're gonna hit okay. And there is our TPMS. And we wanna read the fault codes. So we have two transmitters that are not communicating and most likely, you know, batteries have died. So you can go in and click on the error code and it'll Google for you that code and you could read up on, on that results. What we're gonna do is go ahead and clear the fault codes. Now, while we're in here, we can go ahead and go into diagnosis and we can go ahead and auto search and it will automatically communicate with the car and find out what car it is, what the VIN number is. Just takes a few moments. We can go ahead and do a health report and allow the 600S to scan all the ECUs that are in this car. And it looks like we've got the hybrid control, the engine, and the transmission control module, the ABS system, SRS, and occupant detection. And those all look good. Can go in to each. And if you had fault codes, you could clear them, but you could also read the data stream. So if you were interested in looking at throttle control or batteries, multitude of different data points, you could scan and test. All right, so now we're in a 2010 F-150 that I just wanted to see on the banks of the Lambda if they were running close to even together. So what I'm gonna do is use the computer to do basically a chart and chart that real time and then take a look at those numbers. So I'll take you in and show you how we set that up. So we're going into the car, we've already connected to the Ford and we're automatically searching and this is our truck. And what we wanna do is a system scan and we have the anti-lock braking system, the PCM, the RCM, and the TCM. So we're gonna go into the power train module and we're gonna go into read data stream. And one of the things I like about this is I don't have to scroll, which you can do, but I can go into search and type in Lambda and there is my Lambda. So I'm gonna go just for bank one, sensor one, and bank two, sensor two. Hit okay. Now I can look at this and see just the numbers. If I tap the icon, I can look at one of the banks. If I go into combine and I just check both of these and hit okay, then I'll have both items selected. And you can go up to four items in your graph. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck so we can take a look. So here's our two banks and they are working together about the same. So it shows our numbers, go back into the report and we can now begin to see our chart build. Give it a little gas. 
Now, one of the things you can do if you wanted, in this case, I can take a screenshot. I have the icon up, so I just hit the little photo and that saved this screen to uh, my photo album. I can show this to my client. So now what I wanna do is show just the report build. So you can select one of your metrics, hit okay. And of course we see here, this is absolute throttle position. So if I press on my throttle pedal, I can make it adjust. And if you had a situation where that, that value you wanted to show in a report, you could just click report. And this will come up with a document shows no fault in the power control module, but the data that we looked at showed that result and you can send this to PDF. Now, nice thing as well, you can also send an email or connect to Bluetooth through your device and send that PDF off so you could quickly email or document or save that file. So some of the features that it has is a five inch TFT display, which is easily read in both direct sunlight and in dark spots. You can adjust brightness and as well sharpness. And on the side of the computer has a USB-C charging port and as well a slot for a micro SD card to save your files and screenshots. Now a few points on the Artie Diag 600S functionality, and that is one, of course, diagnosis. This is your spot for going into troubleshooting engine codes and as well any kind of error or warning that you have in your car and also your spot for checking data streams, checking sensors and reading and outputting those results. Now there is the IMS readiness function and what this does is it checks all the emissions related sensors and systems and ensures that your car is ready for testing and maintenance. Now there are eight maintenance services that you can perform with the RD Diag 600S and one of course is the ABS brake bleeding as well the parking brake system so that way you can release any electronic parking brakes so you can change pads or rotors as well DPF regeneration as well as throttle matching and battery matching tire pressure sensor reset and as well a steering angle sensor reset now one of the big things that i think separates the RDDAG 600S over a smartphone app or other tool or smaller tool really is besides the larger screen, I think the live updates and the continuous support for all vehicles that are out there. So you have a huge list of vehicles that you can utilize. You don't have to pay for a car and then only be able to work on that car. And then if you wanna work on a different car, you've gotta pay some more. This has everything included and as well those updates. The other thing that I really like is its durability. This is a really nice build. It doesn't feel cheap, it is strong. I've dropped it a couple times on accident and it still looks good. So you know that you throw it in the toolbox or on the workbench, you're gonna be okay and it'll keep on going. So I think that the Artie Diag 600S is perfect for, of course, the at-home mechanic. This is a great tool to work on your own cars or your friend's cars and to quickly diagnose issues that you might be uh, having. Uh, but I think as well, it definitely is for the professional. You know, you can go out to your client's car real quick, grab this out of your box and go see a simple, you know, fix or those simple little kind of tasks that you have on that car. You don't have to pull out your big system from the box. You can just grab this, go out real quick and set your client on the way. So I definitely recommend the Artie Diag 600S from Top Don as a professional diagnostic tool that you need in your shop or at your home or both. This is a great tool to have. It is almost a must with the cars of nowadays. And so I think you'll find you'll be very happy. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like what you see, consider subscribing. We have a few builds going on. We have a 1992 300ZX twin turbo that we're restoring. 
1974 Datsun 260Z as well. So thanks so much. You have a good one.